And I don't you have been a politician um, for years. You came in and he told us you came to serve us. You came in and he told us that um, the battle was the Lord's. Today, who are you fighting for? Are you fighting for yourself or are you fighting for we Ghanaians? My fellow Ghanaians, I'm telling you, things don't look good. Let's not just keep quiet. We have to start speaking up. We have to start telling these people in power that, you know what? You can put aside your politics. Your money you are stealing, you can steal it anytime. But our lives are very important to us. Just tell them that they can go ahead and steal their money. We just want to be alive. Keep us alive. That's all that we are asking from you, Mr. President. Keep Ghanaians alive. That's all. You can be president for 100 years. That is not my problem. It is your problem because you will have more things to deal with. I wouldn't have more things to deal with. But the only thing, the only thing I'm pleading, I'm pleading with you, Nanado Danko Kufuado, save the lives of the people. They gave you that power. Stop the NIA card registration. Stop Jen Mensa and the EC from what they're about to do. Mr. President, power is not everything. He, I value human life a little bit. I am pleading with you and I'm begging you, Kufuado. Value human life a little bit. Humans gave you that power. You will not live till the world ends, Mr. President. Understand that humans, these stupid humans you don't respect, these simple Ghanaians, these poor Ghanaians that you don't want to open hospitals for them to go and get treatment, these people you don't want to give them clean water to drink, these people that you, your, 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 your ministers are disrespecting, these are the people who gave you that power. Just give them that respect. Save them. That is all that they're asking from you. They don't need anything. They don't need anything from you, Mr. President. Ghanaians just want you to save them. How do you save them? Make sure the NIA guys stop what they are doing. Make sure that EC stop the registration they're about to do. Save Ghanaians. What is so big or so difficult about this? My fellow Ghanaians, I have never done this before. But you see today, I am pleading with the president. I am pleading with him because this thing... From what I see, this, from my source, this thing is going to get out of hand. From what we saw in Italy, what we saw in China, in other places, even in America today, it is not easy. We are not prepared as a nation. We are not prepared. And we have to face the fact the president needs to act like a leader. He needs to come out and speak to us. 